the Latitude 64 Pro Basket Trainer. If you're anything like me, you are probably watching this video because your box did not have instructions in it. Luckily, after a little bit of deduction, I figured out how to put this thing together, what I believe is to be correct. So let's start with what you'll need. Inside the box, you're going to receive two Allen keys. You're going to need both of those. They give you a half inch wrench, but I choose to instead use a socket. You need a way to turn this socket so you can use a ratchet. Or if you'd like to do everything overly manly the way that I do, grab a power drill. This is definitely not necessary and kind of overkill. If you do use one, be sure to set the clutch a little bit low so that you don't strip anything out or crush any metal. So starting off here, grab the galvanized pipe that has two sets of holes at the top and a tapered end. You're going to take the end that is not tapered and stick it into the base and grab a carriage bolt. Now check these carriage bolts. One is shorter than the others and you will want to save that for a later step. Here you can finger tighten a nut onto the other side of the carriage bolt, grab your larger Allen key and then your wrench or in my case a socket and tighten down the nut. Next up, grab one of these little black set screws. You're going to have four of these. You're only going to use three though and you're going to tighten into this hole here. All this does is snugs up the tolerance a little bit so that when you are smacking those putts home, your basket is not wibbling all over the place. Next up, grab your basket and just the way you'd expect it to go on, slide it over to the center pole and go past the first hole down to the second set of holes. You don't want this one, bad. Now slide your, yet again, one of the long carriage bolts through this hole and put your nut on the other side. If you're having issues holding the basket up, try and stick a knee under it for a little extra support. Yet again, grab the same Allen key and your same socket or wrench and clamp these guys down and grab yet another black set screw. This is gonna become familiar, just warning you. Go ahead and tighten this down and now we can grab our next piece of galvanized pipe. This one you're going to see has a set of three holes at one end and two holes at the other. I am not sure what this hole here is for, but just make sure it is at the top. So you're going to slide this guy over top of the tapered section. It is very snug. Get some lube if you need it, or just go in raw and put a lot of pressure and twist back and forth until it slides down into place. You can see I checked the holes there and now I'm grabbing the shorter of the carriage bolts. It's not very much shorter, so just you know, be attentive, look for which one's shorter, and try to get it through here. If it's not going, don't be afraid to give it some force with your hand, your, your power drill, and then grab your other nut, twist it on the other end, and, well, like I said, you're starting to get familiar with what we're doing here. Tighten it down. Finally, you're going to be grabbing your chains and the top band. Don't be afraid to get help because it is pretty heavy, and put this center ring over the pole, and then take this middle collar and slide it just far enough down onto the pole to get the carriage bolt through. Now, I like to keep my left arm underneath of the band to add a little bit more leverage and try and hold it up while I get this carriage bolt through. And if you can't find your way out the other side, just peek into the top of the pole and you can see your exit. Same as before, tighten down the nut on the side you need it. And grab one of the two remaining set screws, tighten it in, and this is going to keep your top band and chains from wiggling around when you wrap your leg down some monster putt and tackle the basket. Finally, you're going to grab the end cap and stick it right here into the top. Nothing special needed, just smack it with your fist. Then you can grab a set of your favorite putters and start practicing. Because somebody said something about that making perfect or something. 